Hi, Donna Schwartz here. In this video I want to talk to you about the proper way, or the best way, to put the reed on the saxophone or clarinet mouthpiece. I'm going to use the alto sax as an example. The first thing that you want to do is you want to, to um, put the mouthpiece onto the saxophone neck. The reason why you want to put the mouthpiece onto the neck first, instead of putting the reed on the mouthpiece, is because it will be a lot harder for you to put the fully assembled reed with the mouthpiece onto the neck later. What always happens is, especially with these types of ligatures that come with beginning instruments, you put that mouthpiece with the reed on and you're twisting it on and then everything just comes loose, the reed goes flying all over the floor. Okay, so here's the first step that I like to do. I get my cork grease, open it up, and I just open it up just a little bit. I put one very light coat all the way around, all across the cork. Don't press in so much. You don't want to drown the neck in cork grease. It just gets kind of gross. Okay, so just one light coat all the way around, and then I put that away. Now, all this time, you're going to be soaking the reed in your mouth. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. I first want to show you these steps. I take my mouthpiece, I take it with the, the opening, let's call it the opening for now, and the flat side facing down. And what I do, I don't need to twist this all the way around. There's no need. I do what I call the shimmy, okay, which is basically moving it from left to right and pushing it in in very controlled moment, uh, movements. So I'm just pushing it in. Some of you have like a pencil mark because it's a rented instrument. I would push it in all the way to the pencil mark. For the alto saxophone, I'm also going to put just a slight a slight angle to it, so it's going to look like that. If you put it so it's straight, that's okay, but the thing is the alto saxophone is held towards your side, at least for beginners, so it's better for your posture to put it on a little bit of an angle like that. Okay? Alright, now there's two ways to put the reed on. Um, first thing though, let me get my reed out, and this would normally be your first step. It takes about a minute or two to soak the reed, and it really needs to be soaked in order for it to vibrate. So let me show you how to do that first before I start putting the, the mouthpiece uh, together. There's a flat side. This flat side goes against this flat part of the mouthpiece. Okay, so let me just soak this for a second. Notice how I'm grabbing the reed. I never want to touch the tip of the reed with my fingertips. It, this is so fragile, the tip of the reed. It breaks so easily. In fact, you're going to find yourself probably breaking three or four reeds by the time you hit like two weeks <laughs> because you're touching the tip. And you really have to be careful with this. So when I put the reed in my mouth, the flat side is on, goes on top. The, the side that has like the smooth, curvy part is going to go on the bottom. I suck on it for about a minute. Don't suck on it too hard so that the reed warps. You don't want to do that either. And I grab it like this. As if I'm grabbing something this way. I hold it more towards the bottom. I'm going to place this against this flat part of the reed. A flat part of the mouthpiece, excuse me. And I'm going to line it up so that the, the tip of the reed is pretty much flush against the top part of the mouthpiece. It's going to be a little hard to show. I'll do it this way. The way I'm going to know that, notice how I have to keep one finger pressed against this. Um, the way I'm going to know that it's flush against, I can put my right thumb into the heart of the reed, just press in a little bit, and see if I see a black outline, a black outline beyond the reed. Now here's the thing. I notice I'm a little bit off center. The reed has to be on perfectly. If it's even a little off center, you, you may wind up squeaking or just not getting the right sound. So you want to make sure that it's lined up top from the top, but also on the sides too. So notice I'm not touching the tip of the reed, I'm just going, I'm adjusting from the sides. And it should look like that. Okay, here's the first way I'm going to show you. A lot of beginners prefer this way of doing, of um, putting the reed on the mouthpiece, but you've got to be really careful and you've got to be pretty coordinated. 
I'm going to take my ligature. The ligature is the piece of equipment that holds the reed onto the mouthpiece. There's a narrow end, which should be on the top, and the wide end is on the bottom. Now, if I forget that, all I need to know is that the screws face towards the right. So when I'm looking at it, the screws face towards the right. I'm going to take this ligature, I'm going to carefully, don't touch the tip of the reed, I'm going to carefully go over the top, bring it down until it hits my thumb. Now the next step is I'm going to push it down until it's past what I call the bump in the mouthpiece. I call this part the bump just for now. And I'm going to push it down until it's not in the heart of the reed anymore. It's more on the smooth, curvy surface. I make sure that my reed is lined up on the sides and on the top. First thing I do, I tighten the top a little bit, and then I tighten the bottom all the way. Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. If you don't remember anything else, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Okay. After I tighten the bottom all the way, I check it, make sure it's lined up. I press into the heart of the reed to make sure that I can see a black outline of the mouthpiece just above the tip of the reed, and then I tighten the rest. And it should look like this. From the front, it should look like this. Now that's one way of doing this. Let me show you first how to take the ligature off, and then let me show you the second way. I loosen the top screw. Notice how my left thumb is holding onto the bottom of the reed. I loosen the bottom screw. I carefully take the ligature over the top. I do not touch the tip of the reed. Okay, so that's how we take the ligature off. I'm going to take the, the reed off. When I take the reed off after playing, um, I'll say this now, what I tend to do, I use my right pointer and my right thumb, and I carefully wipe off the excess moisture from the reed like this, just once. And wipe it on the pants, because that's what pants are for, okay? Um, like I said to you, you don't want to touch the tip, but in this situation, I'm just going very light, boom, like that. Okay, let me show you the other way of putting the reed in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend like I'm you, I, I'm soaking my reed, I'm putting my mouthpiece on the neck, I did this for me. I take my ligature, screws face towards the right. I put the ligature on first. So I just put the ligature on just like that. Now, I want to make sure that these screws are loose enough because I want to slide the reed in. That's a little better. Okay. Notice how I grab the reed. And I take the flat part. I slide it down. I slide it until I hit my thumb, my left thumb, and then I push past it. I keep pushing past it until I line up the tip of the reed with the top of the mouthpiece. And then I take the ligature and I press it, I, I press it down until it's past the bump of the mouthpiece and it's in the smooth part. This ligature is very tight. Some of your ligatures are going to be as tight as mine. Some of yours are going to be very loose. Okay, so try to keep one finger, try to keep your left thumb on the bottom of the reed if you can, because it's just going to go all over the place. I tighten the top screw so it's snug. I tighten the bottom screw all the way until it's tight. And then I make sure everything's lined up, top and sides. And then I finish off with the top screw. And there you go. Same result. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is a mouthpiece patch. Okay, I find that these are great if, um, if I don't have a patch on my mouthpiece, my teeth tend to rattle. And that's one reason why some kids don't get sounds in the beginning is because they don't leave their top teeth on the mouthpiece and their teeth vibrate. And, you know, they can't get a sound to come out. So you can get these mouthpiece patches at your local music store. If not, uh, Woodwind and Brasswind, www.com, they have these um, mouthpiece patches. I think Runyon makes them. And that's basically it. So thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you learned something from this video. On that note, have a great day.